In this topic training you will learn about how to create backup in Windows Server 2012. In today's video you will learn how to create a backup of the system stat active directory using the Windows Server Backup feature in Windows Server 2012. In my previous video I explained how to install Windows Server Backup feature in Windows Server 2012. In today's video, you will learn how to create a backup of the system state and active directory using the Windows Server or backup feature in Windows Server 2012. Just as until now, you have already installed the Windows Server backup feature. Now we will move forward from there. Open Server Manager. Go to the tools option provided by the server manager. Left click on it and scroll down to the Windows Server Backup option. Click on Windows Server Backup. Now this type of option will be opened. In the local backup option you will get a few options. Right click on local backup, backup schedule, backup once, recover, configure, performance settings, view, health. In this video we will create a one time backup. So click on backup once. Now backup options will be available from which you must select the second option different options and then click on next now backup configuration will be available from which you can either select to create a backup of the full server or select the custom option that will give you freedom to choose from various options for creating a backup click on next on the next page click on add items after which you will be able to select the item to create the backup of from the options you can select any drive or system state or both here i will create a backup of only the system state so i select it and click on the ok button click on next now you must select the destination type that can be either a local drive or any remotely shared folder click on next since here i selected the local drive it will ask me in which drive i would like to create the backup and how much space is available and the drive after that click on next total space and backup destination free space and backup destination click on next now a confirmation page will be shown that will show you the full details of whatever you selected and will finally ask you to give permission to create the backup click on backup to start the backup now your backup will begin and within a few minutes your backup will have been created